Um, so I had a friend of mine try to set me up with this girl recently, and the first question I asked him was, uh, is she hot? And his response was, uh, and I was like, nope, nope, she's not. Because if she was, you would just say yes, and then you'd see like, yeah, she killed her ex-husband, or she has four kids. Like, you would just go straight into it. Um, I started uh, dating recently, and like down here in Miami, like it helps a little bit because I'm tall. I'm 6'8". You can tell by this thing almost hitting me in the head. <laughs> um, but I also work as a realtor, and as a realtor, it doesn't help that much because when I go show these houses, I'm telling them how spacious it is. And as I'm walking by, ducking through the doorways, they're like, well, what, what's wrong with these doorways? Why, why is the ceiling so low? Uh, anybody in here have siblings? Clap it up if you guys have siblings. Anybody in here the oldest sibling? All right, yeah, I'm about to blow your mind. If you're the oldest sibling, all your younger siblings are just do-overs. I'm the oldest one. I figured this out recently because here's what happened. Uh, I was born big. Like, my mom, like, when she was giving birth to me, I got stuck. And the doctor told her, look, we have two choices. We can either, uh, you can either have a C-section or we can break his shoulders. My dad looked at the doctor and he's, my dad's Jewish. So he said, all right, which one's going to cost more? <laughs> And, uh, but what happened was like, I was, uh, you know, I was always a big kid. So like when I was like two, I looked like I was seven. And so like my mom would take me out to the park and everybody was always so nice. And I didn't understand until I got older what happened. Just imagine like this two year old with this big head, just like this, just stumbling around. And like people would just come up to my mom all the time. And they're like, oh, that's so nice that you bring him out to the park. It's really important for kids like that to hang out with the other kids. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, I realized, like, my brother, it's kind of like, like, I have a really good friend of mine, and his name's Andre, and he's only 5'10". And I used to make fun of Andre, but then Andre hit a certain height, and he realized he was never going to be a basketball player or a football player, and he worked hard, and he studied, and he plays guitar. And let me ask you something. Think about this for a second. When's the last time you saw a six foot eight guy playing guitar? It just doesn't happen. We're not talented. We're not any good. But hey, if there's any single ladies, come talk to me afterwards. Thank you.